iPhone. Now I'll go ahead and show you how to do it on an iPad. Now as stated before, it's pretty much the same process, but I'll go ahead and explain it one more time in case I'm putting this on my third channel. So pretty much if your apps are crashing on your iPad, like I said, pretty much the same process, you want to determine which specific apps are crashing. You know, if they're, they're tweaked, bought apps, or if they're tweaked apps or hacked apps or whatever, then those become, you know, revoked all the time. So in this specific case, I'm not too sure if I have any apps here that are tweaked or anything, but if you download like GBA for iOS, the Delta emulator, all those other methods, and you're using something other than Alt Store, those are going to get revoked all the time. They get revoked like before a week you know what i mean so it's very annoying so if it's those apps that are crashing you have no choice but to wait out or to download another app or whatever a fix of those apps when the fix comes out or when they get resigned now as stated before if you're experiencing another issue where the specific apps are like snake versus blocks or apps that you download from the app store well the way to fix this as stated before is actually pretty easy what you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete that specific app from your ipad so let's say the you know cube runner app is being annoying well what i would do is i would go and hold down here and i would go ahead and delete the app completely so hold down here click delete app click delete and you will see that the, the specific app is you know deleted from my ipad so what you want to do now is hop out of here and you want to go into your app store so you want to make your way to your app store you want to go ahead and search for that specific app that we just deleted. I forgot these don't have the type swipe thing. You want to go and type in the whatever that app was. I think it was Cube Runner. I kind of forgot. And at this point, you just want to go ahead and re-download that app. So you want to go ahead and click download here. Wait for it to fully download. And then that is honestly pretty much it. Typically, this should end up fixing the problem. So now you can see I can go and get into Cube Runner. And I can go ahead and play it. Now, if you're still experiencing issues or whatever, then typically it's just an app specific problem. If it's all your apps that are crashing, I'd recommend factory resetting your device, whether it's an iPhone or an iPad. But if it's just a one app that's a problem, what you're going to have to do is pretty much just, you know, wait until that developer pushes out an update or a fix and then pretty much move on from there. So that's pretty much how to do it, you guys. If you have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything, also every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.